Hello everybody and welcome to HJ Goes Live. I'm Charlotte Grant West, editor of Hairdressers Journal and today we're joined by John Anthony who's going to showcase the hottest new colour trend for summer, the multi-melt with your hottest new hair care, BFF Instacure. A huge thank you today to Matrix who are sponsoring the session and I'll now hand you over to John. Hi everybody, thank you for having me, Hairdressers Journal, and like Charlie says, I'm here with Matrix, bringing you the Matrix Multi Melt. So recently, myself and Ria have been working on the Matrix Multi Melt campaign, and we are sharing with you how to create the most beautiful, seamless melts using a trio of colours from the Matrix colour palette. Now you can use your So Colour Sync palette, you can use your So Colour palette, Equally, you can synchronize those together and melt them together. So today, I'm going to bring you, talk you through my live model, but I'm also going to give you a little demo and show you how we can spice that demo up by adding in some hair extensions that I've pre-melted, and we can talk through the tones and the creative palette and how we have managed to um, create those tones and looks. So we'll work through the heads today. But well, here we can see my, my model here has had a matrix multi melt using the trio of colors. So we went in for a natural root and we blended that down into a gorgeous 10p 6RV in the so color sink. And through the ends, it was sorry, the mids was 8p and the ends was 10p. And each of those two formulas had the smallest amount of of 6RV from the So Color Sync palette in there. So giving us that real kind of like metallic -y, muted pink glow coming through the hair that we're starting to see coming through at the minute. It's been really popular, but we can see that melt as it carries on through, giving that gorgeous seamless result. So wouldn't you agree, Bianca looks gorgeous with her new matrix melt. Thank you, Bianca. Can I just ask you to take a little step out to the side? And I'm going to take you through the melting technique. And for today's technique, I've actually mixed up a trio of colours. In the So Colour Sync palette, we've got the 7NA, which is your neutral ash. Then we have got 10 Mocha. So I'm breaking the rules a little bit. We're going in with a, a cool root into a warm mids and ends, and then a little pop of pink with 6RB plus and SPN through the ends getting a little bit creative and taking it from that commercial into a little bit more editorial and a little bit more fun. But that's what we can do with the Matrix color palette. We can explore cocktail and really go crazy with the colors. So let's start the melt. How many of you out there are melting at the minute? Are you seeing a shift in the salon? Clients asking to go a little bit lighter for the summer, but you'll see that they'll naturally touch around the sides of the face or the ends. This is where the matrix melt can be perfect. You can be deeper in at the root and then you can really enhance the lightness through the ends and make the client and help the client feel that bit lighter through the end. So let's start with the matrix melt. And I'm starting here at the lowest point of the hair and I'm taking a fine section. And I'm gonna start working with my darkest shade in at the root. And say, just to repeat, my darkest level was the 7NA in the So Color Sync palette. Just turn the doll's head to the side. Starting just to apply that color, pushing it through, making sure that it's saturated, and I'm keeping the tension nice and tight with my other hand as well, making sure that I've got control of those flyaways. That's really important when you're working with the melt. You wanna make sure that the flyaways are well controlled and we're not going to have any of them uh, disturbing the melt look. Pushing and saturating that color throughout, and another top tip as well is when you're working with the melt, if you don't want a line, don't create one in the first place. So I would take the color down a couple of inches, and then I would just softly just start to feather that color out. And that way, the demarcation line, when we go in with our next level, it's gonna blend a lot easier. So taking that color, now another top tip, make sure you always keep a towel handy. You get messy fingers. Keep that towel handy. So I've taken my 7NA down and I've just feathered that line ever so slightly. I'm gonna take my next color, which is my 10 Mocha. Mocha, I don't know if 
Mocha and Matrix is one of my favourites. And the Mocha, you've got the gold and the violet, lots of gorgeous tones. Mocha and Matrix is one of our favourites. Again, I'm applying that colour, but I'm leaving a very fine gap between the two colours there. And that is going to be the space where I start to blend the colours together. So we can see I'm applying that colour, and I'm applying it top, bottom. And I'm just going to gently flick that colour up to almost meet the point of the first colour. Then, using my pointer finger and my middle finger, I'm going to blend those two together. And you can see I'm still keeping that tension really tight on the hair, keeping control of the flyaways, and making sure that none of them get in the way and spoil this melt for me. So here's my pointer finger and my middle finger, and I'm diffusing those together, breaking away any lines, any chance of demarcation lines. Wiping my towel on my little finger, my hand, uh, wiping my hands on my finger. And we can see a beautiful blend coming through there of the two colors. And I'm excited to show you because I've actually done this on the other side. So when I've gone through a little section of the technique, I'm going to show you the result of that cool color blending into that slightly warm color. So you can really see it and you'll be able to visualize it. The result is beautiful. So I'm taking my six RV, which is mixed in with my SPN, and I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm pinching the very end and I'm gliding my, my, um, my tint brush over the top, under the bottom, and you can see we're working with a really clean eye as well, making sure that everything's tidy, everything's neat. Finger, I will either my finger and my thumb or your middle finger and your pointer finger and just gently blend those together. And you can just see that beautiful blend of color happening right in front of your very eyes. And especially when you're working with a pop of color like the 6RV and the, uh, the so color Stink palette. Try that for a really nice soft pink mixed in with the SPN. It works really beautifully. First section done, let me work on my next section and I'll repeat the process and show you that technique again. Taking a really fine section, you want to make sure the section is super fine so that the color can saturate through and um, make sure the underneath saturated as well as the top. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to see a lot of the melts coming back in at the minute. We're seeing a lot of the, the multi-tonal looks. And we are naturally melting as we're balayaging. You know, and we might do a root tap, we might do a root stretch. We are melting. But by popping a third colour through the ends, which could be a little bit lighter than a desired tone, it creates a beautiful story of dark to light and it creates a beautiful movement of colour through the hair. So as you can see, I'm just making sure there's no line, no demarcation line, softening that out ever so slightly, make sure the underneath is painted. And then I'll go in with my second color, which is my mocha. I've got my tension nice and tight. And I'm gliding that color through and then softly feathering it up. Making sure that the underneath is saturated. And then we'll gently just blend those two. We'll try something different. Use finger and thumb this time. And you get the most beautiful, seamless blend. And they, these are the best blending tools we can have at our fingers. You've just got to always make sure you've got a little disposable nearby or a little towel that you can, you can keep your hands clean. And then just gently through the very tips, We'll go in with our creative pop of color. There we go. You can see it taken, taken, uh, taken already there. The natural ash and the so-called sink palette. It can actually it develops quite dark, but don't be scared of that. Trust the process. The result is super cool and super light and it creates a really nice ashy result, especially those clients that like that cooler root area. All good? Good. Marvellous. Should we do another section? I think we should. Let's get creative. 
And uh, don't forget, guys, the, the Melton campaign that we worked on with Matrix, myself and Rhea, that is on L'Oreal Access. So if you're looking to, if you, in fact, if you've seen it, let me know, drop a comment. If you haven't seen it and want to know how to access it, then check L'Oreal Access. And you can type in my name, John Anthony, type in Rhea's name, Matrix, and you'll see there the, the, the multi-melt campaign that we, uh, that we launched just recently. It was a great campaign and we shared lots and lots of creative color inspiration, formulas. It was a great, it was just great fun, really great fun. Also worked on quite a variety of models as well, didn't you, Joe? Yeah, we so you, we adapted the technique depending on the hair length, the hair texture. So we worked on a real variety of models, and we actually done a, a matrix multi melt on a lady who had natural silver hair, silvery grey hair. She was about 80 90 percent silver hair, and uh, we popped some little low lights through her hair that we actually melted. And we melted the extra coverage range into the so color sink range. You need to go and see the results from that because the results were stunning. And I'm not going to give too much away, but check, check it on access, search for the campaign, and you'll see the, the result. And it was it was magical. And we glossed the hair in between with the AA and the sheer steel. And again, that beautiful metallic silver really enhancing the client's natural hair color, it was, it was wonderful. So definitely head over to L'Oreal Access and check that out. There's de something different for every, every um, different hair texture, hair length, it's all there. If you head over to the Matrix Facebook page, you will be able to find the link straight away in the latest Facebook post, which is today's live. So those of you watching on Matrix, uh, just click the link in the description. Those of you watching over at HJ, come on over to the Matrix Facebook page and grab yourself a free course from John Anthony. Beautiful. And there we go. A little teaser of the Matrix multi melt technique, working with a trio of colors and I have gone in with a real creative pop through the ends to just really show you the melt and placement. Naturally, we could have gone in the, the 7, 10A. We could have then possibly have gone to maybe a 9 mocha and into an SPM. So again, you get that beautiful journey of cool into warm and into lightness through the ends. What I'd like to do is I'm just going to take my gloves off and I'll turn the head around and I'll show you the results on the other side of, of the 7NA and the 10 mocha. And um, John, we have yep. a couple of questions come in. Could you just recap to the entire audience what colours um, have been used on the tuition head? And when we bring uh, your model back on stage, recap your model back on stage. Yeah, of course. To recap, guys, my name's John Anthony and I'm a Matrix Artistic Ambassador. And here I am talking you through the Matrix multi melt campaign. We've done the multi melt campaign the last couple of months and uh, it was a great filming day where we, we were working with a trio of colours so you were, we were starting from a dark and going into a lighter, or we're starting from light, uh, dark, going into light, and then going into creative. So we're working with a trio of colors from the So Color Sync palette and the So Color palette. And we're melting those together to give you this beautiful journey of dark to light. So head over to L'Oreal Access and type in John Anthony, type in the multi melt. Rhea's on there as well, and she's done, she done the campaign too. So you can type in and, and, and see Rhea's um multi melt videos so on my melt today i've done the 7na in so color sync and i've done the 10 mocha in so color sync as well and i've done 6rv plus an spn to give you that little pop so we can really see the melt and placement and technique in this today i think we've left them waiting long enough john and get them to show the finished results so here is the result how stunning is that? I mean, who would have thought a cool into a warm blonde? It is gorgeous. It's long lasting. The, 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 the coolness will fade to a cooler blonde. The warm will fade to a, a lighter blonde. The client is going to get a lot of looks out of this journey with this tone. And again, it's the same technique. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't run the 6RV cocktail through the ends of that. And I've literally melted the two colors together 
And I've just done a bit of SPN through the end so we get that little pop of lightness, still using a trio of colors. And like I said, naturally, we'll probably melt most days when we're doing our root taps and our root shadows and we're melting those two colors together. The matrix melt, we're gonna work with three colors and take you on a nice little color journey. But what I'll do, so this is great for commercially, isn't it? Yes, it's absolutely. Commercially. So you've got your everyday client that will come into the salon that's looking for that commercial melt, that look. This is perfect. How can we spice it up? Well, let's spice it up by adding a little pop of colour. So what I've done is I've pre-coloured some hair extensions that I've uh, that I've been working on at home, and they're they're just a nice neutral. 613 blonde hair extension and so I was melting those to show you exactly how the other side would look when the other side was finished so let me just pop in a couple of these little extensions and I can show you how we can spice it up for a client it's a great way as well like if you're in the salon and your client doesn't really want to play with color clients a bit nervous about color then some human hair hair extensions you can create a color those with the so color sync palette they take really, really well to the so color sync palette. So you could get the color the client wishes and attach it with hair extensions. And then spice it up with a little pot of pink, pinky violet running through the very ends. Seamless. It's beautiful. But that's the great thing about the hair extensions that we use. I've also pre-done a few hair extensions and again, a very, very different look. But with, with these extensions, I've used the mocha palette and the copper palette. So we've gone in with the five mocha through the, through the roots. And then we've gone in with a six BC through the mids and then an eight mocha through the ends. That is a gorgeous matrix melt that is taking you on a journey of like, I, I see that as dark chocolate, caramels and toffees. Gorgeous little transition. I'm just gonna lay it against the blonde so you can see those colors popping through, lovely. Do we like it? I think it looks beautiful. And you can imagine that on a brunette head. If we swap the heads over and just pop a brunette head on and we can see what we can create with With the colour palette. So this is great if you have a client who's natural that's always a bit conscious about changing. It's a great way to add changing. Absolutely. So if the clients are a bit cautious or careful of the colour of their hair, they're a bit concerned, they don't want to colour their hair so much, then you could pop in some extensions, low maintenance. Let me turn that to the side a little bit. But also as well, if this was a client that was a full sort of like brunette head brunette, you know, we could gently power wash the mids and ends at the back wash for that client. So we could work with the matrix light master and water. We could gently mix that up at the back wash and we could over, we could almost do like a bit of a power wash and we could take her into that melt. It doesn't have to be a huge makeover appointment. It could be a gentle power wash from here down and then get creative with the toning palette. And let me just pop these in to show you the, the result. I'm going to check with Charlotte and see if any questions have come in over at HJ. So we had a question from Paula on Facebook um, asking about where she can see any um, education videos that you might have done in the past. If you could direct her to that, that'd be amazing. Hi Paula, yeah absolutely, if you head over to L'Oreal Access, so type in lorealaccess.com, you can set up an account if you haven't already set up an account, and uh, once you're in there you can search for Matrix, you can also search for John Anthony and you can search, there's, there's a whole catalogue, all of the artistic team within Matrix uh, have got something on there somewhere along the line, there's, there's uh, education on textured hair, the melt looks, colour me happy campaign that we've done last year, there's a lot of education out there. Um, but yeah, you can definitely catch it on L'Oreal Access. That's the best place to go. Look at that. I am super proud of this color. It's beautiful. It's given me just warm hazelnut chocolate caramel vibes. And again, you can imagine that on a client, but if not, you do it on some hair extensions and pop it in the client for a bit of a fun look. 
we can see that melt all coming through there. The different tones, it's quite um, like autumnal, isn't it? Like almost like great for when we start to see that shift because that'll happen at the minute clients are wanting that a little bit lighter, but we'll start to see it as the month goes by and get to see a bit more autumn tones coming through. And this is perfect for that as well. But it just shows how creative you can get with the Soul Color Sync palette. Everything's intermixable. The Soul Color palette, the extra coverage, everything can be blended in with the Soul Color Sync as well, using your pointer finger and your middle finger, and you can create the most beautiful, seamless blend. And of course, John, nothing's finished because all of the hair looks beautifully shiny and healthy. And that, the hair extensions and mannequin heads, aren't they? <laughs> that is because of this. The best breakthrough. We've been waiting for so long for this Instacure shampoo and conditioner launch. And it's here. So not only does it smell amazing, mm, I wish we had smell a vision, you could smell that. Not only does it smell amazing, but you can see the result, the shine that it gives. Amazing. So helping with breakage in the hair, you've got the shampoo and the conditioner, and we've also got an Instacure spray as well. So speak to your clients about that. When it comes into, the, into your local distributor, definitely get your hands on it and try it and share the results. Tag Matrix, tag myself, let us see them because you'll get this beautiful, gorgeous shine and repairing the broken bonds within the hair using this as well. The volume and fullness in the hair, you're going to love it. And just to recap, let me bring my model back in and I'll show you the Matrix melt on my gorgeous model, Bianca. Turn to the side a little bit, please. So we've gone in with a cooler root and we've gone in with a gorgeous pink 8P with 6RV and into 10P and 6RV. Less 6RV through the ends, two levels lighter as well. So we see a gentle journey of darker into lighter, but a little bit fun and creative at the same time. Turn around. And in the fringe as well, what I've done is around the frame of Bianca's face, I've gone with a lighter colour, which was the 10p through the fringe and through the perimeter so that she didn't feel too dark. I didn't want Bianca to have too much um, darkness on her face and I didn't want her to, um, yeah, I think just with the summer and stuff, we'd work with a lighter one that was there, the lighter colour through the fringe area. And that's a top tip because I think when you hit the fringe, it can be a bit of a problematic area. And you think, what do I do with a melt and a fringe? How can I melt three colours together? Don't stick with a lighter colour, then the client won't feel too dark as well. We should give her a 360, would you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Give us a little spin around, Bianca. Show us the back. Beautiful. Look at that. Just wait there a minute. If anyone is one of our one of our favorites to use as well, the 10P with the 6RV, it gives the most beautiful kind of how would you describe that pink? Like mauve. I see all sorts. Sometimes I see metallicness to it. I feel like fairy dust pink. Yeah, like a dusty. You've got the petal, the pearlescent from the P, and then you're throwing in the reds and the violets, and you're seeing these gorgeous creative tones. And that's done using the matrix melt. So just to recap, have a look on the Matrix Melt. Have a look on L'Oreal Access for the Matrix Melt. You too can get creative with a trio or two colours and really explore the creativity of the, uh, the Matrix colour palette and what's on offer. And I can tell you use Instacure on um, Bianca today as well, didn't you, John? Yes, Bianca. Bianca agrees. We've got a live model. How does it smell, Bianca? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been great. And, and actually, that's the control of the extensions that I've been using today. So we can we can really see how much of a difference it has made there uh, working with this so-called single palette. Um, we started with a 613 and using the same technique, attached that to a mannequin head and then blending in my colours using my pointer finger and my middle finger there. This looks amazing. And I'm dusty fairy dust pink is <laughs> my new favourite colour tone. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that one as well. I was thinking how to, how to describe this, but yeah, dusky, dusky sort of pink, dusky fairy tale pink. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Well, um, that sounds like a wrap um for today's session thank you so much for your time and your expertise and your amazing color wizardry today john really appreciate it 
Thank you for having me. And uh, don't forget to connect anybody that's watching. Reach out on, on the socials johnanthony.education and also tag matrix and everything else in your work and, and just reach out if there's any questions uh, that you have on the melting campaign or, or l'oreal access a big thank you to everyone that's watched today and if you do have any more questions or comments that you want to leave on either video or matrix's home facebook page or hairdresser's journal facebook page please do and i'm sure john and the matrix team will get back to you if you've got any questions but um Goodbye from me and goodbye from John. Bye. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.